Good morning, guys. Good morning. How are you all? Good morning, Aditya. Good morning, Garima. Keep on joining, guys. We'll start very shortly, okay? Okay. Hi, Ritwik. I am fine. How are you? And uh, really sorry, guys. Yesterday, even now, I am very afraid. The weather out is really, really bad today also. But uh, still, we have network and electricity here today. So we'll just wind up the quiz very quickly, okay? We have taken questions from yesterday's newspaper also. And Aditya, if you would need my help in Hindu law, I was myself not very good in Hindu law. But I can try helping you out. So I think uh, from the very groups you can get, uh, you can have my number, and maybe you can text me personally. Okay, so maybe I'll just I'll definitely try to help you out. But <laughs> yeah, let's see for that. Okay, all right. <clears throat> so uh, people are still joining in. If anyone has joined for the first time, let me introduce myself to you. So guys. Um, Huh. So if you have classes going on for Hindu law, then I think uh, your faculty would be the best one to contact for the doubts, isn't it, Aditya? So uh, if you have any problem with that also, you can let me know, okay? I'll definitely put it to the support team, all right? Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, so Hindu law classes are going on in judiciary batch. Okay, so let me know if that, there is a problem over there, okay? Yeah. So uh, for all those who do not know me, uh, guys, my name is Sheva, all right? I am a law graduate and I did my five years BALB law program. I completed it in 2019 from Trancher University. I did it with a gold medal in my batch and please do not enunate on the screen, thank you so much. And uh, I have been a national debater and a public speaker and here at Law Seco, I'm working as current affairs expert and also <clears throat> manager for current affairs vertical. Okay, so if you wish to connect with me or you need to find me out, you can always find me on LinkedIn as well, as well as Twitter. Okay, both are with the names um, Shiva Khan. Okay. Okay, okay. All right, Aditya, you can just text me on, on WhatsApp once, okay? Jasmine, what is current affairs vertical? See, uh, as we know that there are a lot of exams that require the preparation for, for current affairs, like, you know, even the CLAT, Judiciary, um, RBI exam, you know, a little part of RBI exam, SEBI, etc., and a lot of state judiciaries, you know? So for that, what our team, basically what my team does is that uh, we uh, find out, you know, the most important current affairs, uh, news points that are going on. We prepare uh, weekly newsletters. We prepare monthly newsletters, like for the current affairs. We have weekly quizzes, monthly quizzes. Then we have latest case notes also. We conduct this quiz also. So there are a lot of things that the current affairs vertical does. All right, so I manage that. I'm the manager for the same. Okay, so I hope now the work, the basic work of current affairs vertical is clear to you, right? And even, you know, the newspaper analysis that you find on our YouTube channel, it's also uploaded in the course, all right, in Hindi and English, the, the news in flash that we have, the first crisp news in Hindi and English. Yeah, so <laughs> thank you so much. So there are a lot of things that we are doing currently. We're happy about it. Okay, guys. So let's move further. Let's see the first article of the day. 10 Prime Minister's WHO Chief Staffer Telegram Founder Targeted. So it says Macron, Ramaphosa, Pavel Durov were on Pegasus list. Now in yesterday's newspaper analysis also, guys, we have discussed about the Pegasus, that it is a kind of malware, right? And now it is actually trying to do unwarranted surveillance on various people. Uh, and it is trying to take out a lot of important and sensitive information out of their devices and their phones, etc. Okay, so let's see. Uh, please, guys, make sure that all of you are there with me over here. I have 20 participants on Zoom. I want 20 on Mentations as well. Okay, so please make sure that you have clicked on both the links that I had shared. Good, guys. Keep on joining quickly. 30 seconds, we'll start. And please put in your real name, okay? And if I'm not wrong, the weekly winner has not been announced yet, right? Oh, God, I'm so sorry. 
if not yet then yes i think not yet of course yeah so i'll do it tomorrow for sure i'm really sorry guys just it skipped out of my mind yesterday i was not working not able to work okay all right guys let's start the quiz for the day let's see question number 1 we'll wind up it very quickly guys the electricity can run away any time which of the following laws authorizes the interception and monitoring of communications in india your options are section 92 crpc rule 419a of the telegraph rules section 69 and 69b of the it act or all of the options read your options and questions very carefully okay good so all of the options is the correct answer guys so less a uh, number of you have given the right answer but it's okay all of the options so all of these section 92 crpc 419a of telegraph rules and uh, section 69 and 69b of the it act all of them authorize the interception and monitoring of communications in india so if we are you know to some limited extent they can be intercepted and monitored all right using these provisions and guys i still have less participants on no menti quiz please make sure you have clicked on both the links i am again sharing the link okay please guys quickly we do not have a lot of time one i have shared this link once again please make sure that you have clicked it okay the next one is sharing during scarcity so andhra pradesh and telangana must focus on water and energy efficiency rather than on new projects so this again talks about the disputed uh, rivers you know because south india especially has huge problem of uh, water dispute because um, as uh, against you know the northern part or unlike the northern part where we have a lot of perennial rivers now the perennial rivers are which are ever flowing like ganga yamuna they do not dry up right but various south indian rivers they dry up and even if they do not the capacity that of water that they hold is very less due to which the rivers that form or that are shared on the borders of various states they are disputed okay okay guys let's see question number 2 under the river boards act 1956 who can establish a river board basically river board is to take care of these disputes your options are state government union government president or the governor just please use your common sense guys if the dispute is between two states who would be authorized to establish a river board to you know to solve this dispute okay uh guys the union government is the correct answer okay see why the state government cannot be the answer for example if there is dispute between andhra pradesh and karnataka which state now can we give authority to any of these states to make a river board no because they are themselves the party to the dispute and can we give authority to do the same to any other state no because this state would have no right to intervene into the matters of this these two states okay so that is why the union government is authorized to what to do to uh, establish establish uh, a river board under the river boards act 1956 in order to solve the disputes that is regarding that that is regarding the sharing of water in the uh, rivers okay all right aquaculture farmers to self produce on e santa okay so here it's there we have done this before as well guys uh, in our newspaper analysis or in news in flash for sure okay let's see question number third and guys i hope you've all joined over here okay i am again sharing for all those who have joined now please click on this link everyone and please be a participant in the quiz as well okay let's see question number third e governance initiative e santa is related to your options are sericulture farmers aqua farmers and buyers 175 guys just just consider these two options okay these have not been changed from day before yesterday's discussion i guess just consider option 1 and 2 okay okay very good guys yes but why do we have so less participants 
Oh my God, how many times do I have to tell you guys? Please, those who have not joined on Menti Quiz, see, Zoom is one different thing. I share two links, okay? Zoom, mein you can see me and the screen share, okay? Menti Quiz, mein you can answer through the options, okay? Please, please click on both the links, guys. Otherwise, there is no, op you know, no point in doing this. Okay, okay, Krishna, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm, as I'm saying, the network is really erratic over here. That is, I, I want to conclude this quiz ASAP and please just try to refresh, okay? So guys, yes, e Center basically it is related to aqua farmers and the buyers. So it basically stands for electronic solution for augmenting NAXA farmers a trade in aquaculture, okay? So basically it is the NACSA NAXA, okay? It must have its own... Um, Full form for sure. So basically, we can understand that it is somehow it is uh, primarily related to the aquaculture. And can anybody tell me what sericulture is related to? Sericulture. What is it? No, no, no. It's not fish, guys. Aquaculture is fish, obviously. Aqua. Pani mein rehti hai fish, right? Yes, yes. Viraj, Jasmine. Sahil Yashodra, yes, you guys are now correct. It's the silk, okay? The production of raw silk by means of raising caterpillars. No, Anshika, it's not caterpillars, it's the silkworms, okay? Uh, so maybe in some language we might call them caterpillars, but caterpillars basically are for the butterflies, for the moths, okay? Uh, and for the sericulture, we need to have the um, silkworm, okay? Not uh, caterpillars. There could be moths for that, but they have to be cell forms. Okay. All right. Let's move further, guys. Supreme Court annuls part of cooperative amendment. So the word is significant amid states' fears over Union Ministry of Cooperation. Okay. Let's see. What is the question? Question number fourth. Part 9B of the Constitution is related to, your options are municipalities, cooperative societies, panchayat, or none of the options. I still have only 18 participants here and 25 on Zoom. I don't know. Okay. So yes, guys, cooperative society is the correct answer. Okay. I would love to discuss that which all these parts are into. But um, guys, we need to move further. It's really, 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 it's just very bad outside. Okay. Let's see question number fifth. Part 9B was added to the constitution through. Your options are 101st Amendment 2017, 98th Amendment 2013, 97th Amendment 2012, or 69th Amendment 1992. Nine B. Okay. Yes, guys. The correct answer is 97th Amendment 2012. Okay. Sorry, I think I call it 2002. 2012. Okay. So it is uh, part 9B, which was of the cooperative societies, was added to the uh, constitution. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. Let's see the leaderboard very quickly. Okay. So currently we have Prashant leading the quiz. Then we have Jasmine, Ritvik, Sejal, Ritvik, Krishnavini, Sangam, Yashodhra, Tiger Baby. Please change your name to your actual name. Okay, then we have Garima. Okay. Let's see question number six. In a recent majority judgment authored by Justice Nariman, the court held that the cooperative societies come under the... Ex
All right, guys, is my screen visible? Oh, thank God. And see, I told you the, the electricity has run away. So, yes. Okay, guys, let's just finish this very quickly, okay? Okay, so you guys have answered this. So, uh, state legislature is the correct answer, guys. Yes. So, 11 of you have given the right answer. It's the state legislature. So the exclu exclusive legislative power over the cooperative societies is given to the state legislatures. Okay. All right. Pedro Castelo declared as Peru's next president. Let's see. Question number seven. South American country Peru is known for, your options are Christ the Redeemer, Petra, Machu Picchu, or Colosseum. So all of these, you know, have been into uh, the uh, Seven Wonders also. Very important, very, you know, world famous uh, sites. So Peru is actually famous for which of the following? Okay. So a lot of confusion over here. Guys, Mashu Pichu or Mashu Pichu, whatever you like to call it, is the correct answer. Let's see it over here. So this is South America, the continent of South America. Okay, this country over here on the western side is Peru. All right. Also remember, guys, the equator also passes through Peru, through the northern part of Peru. And this one. Okay, this is the Machu Picchu. So just like we had it, you know, like we had the Indus Valley civilization in India. Similarly, you know, this is, a, you know, very, you know, is known for its architecture. It's known for its, te its technicality over there. And uh, that's why it was very famous. All right. It's made on a kind of a edge of a hilltop. Right. Okay. Best day ever. Jeff Bezos uh, blasts into space on 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 own rocket. Okay. So yesterday was the day. I think it was a 10 minutes flight or something. Okay, let's see question number eight. Recently, Jeff Bezos traveled to space in which of the following? Your options are Dragon on Falcon rocket, Virgin Galactic, Blue Horizon New Shepherd rocket, or none of that, them. So what was the name of the rocket in which he had Yesterday itself gone to the space. Sahil, are you not able to see the options? So you might answer over here, but I'll not be evaluate. Or otherwise, just be a part of the Menti quiz, okay? The link that I had shared, please. Okay, there you can answer. Okay, but and, and even none of them is not the right answer. Blue Horizon New Shepherd Rocket, guys, is correct answer okay okay yes i think it was also blue origin if i'm yes yes i guess you're right yes just give me a moment yes i think it was blue origin yeah it is blue origin and not horizon guys the correct answer is uh, none of the above it has been marked wrong over here Please do not, uh, you know, see this. Just consider the fact. Yes, Sahil, thank you so much. You are correct. All right. The correct one is Blue Origin. Okay. New Shepherd Rocket, not Blue Horizon. So the correct answer has to be none of them. Please, uh, okay, pardon uh, the team for this. Okay. Please consider once again, I'm repeating. I'm not audible. Am I not audible, guys? Okay, Ekbar, uh, ja, um, 
Madhvi, just ek bar try to uh, refresh once, okay? Please. Okay, please consider, guys, this is Blue Origin, New Shepard rocket. The answer has to be uh, none of the above, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, climate cooperation depends on overall ties. China tells US, all right? So this is basically about the climate and everything. Let's move to question number ninth. China, South Asian countries, poverty elevation and cooperative development center is being established in which of the following countries? Your options are Bangladesh, Pakistan, China, or Nepal. Okay, guys. Yes, China is the correct answer. Okay. So, yes, China is the correct answer. So, it is being developed in China in order to, you know, uh, for the poverty elevation. And it's in accordance or it's in cooperation and collaboration with the South Asian countries. Okay. It's being developed in China. Okay. UNESCO strips Liverpool of its world heritage st status. All right. So, we have the UNESCO world heritage list. I hope you guys know about it. Okay, let's see the 10th question. Which of the following is a UNESCO World Heritage Site in India? Your options are Ghats of Varanasi in Uttar Pradesh, Satpura Tiger Reserve, Madhya Pradesh, Megalithic Site of Hire Bangkal in Karnataka, or Kanchenjunga National Park, Sikkim. This, guys, we did it in our uh, newspaper analysis, news and flash column a few days ago. Okay. Okay. No, guys, the correct answer is Kanchenjunga National Park, Sikkim. Okay. It's there in the UNESCO World Heritage Site of India. Okay. Just keep it in mind. Okay. Lightweight anti-tank missile tested by DRDO. So trial has met the mission objectives. Let's see the last question for the day, guys. Anant, please uh, do not enunate over here, okay? Just give me a moment. Okay. Let's see question number 11, the last one for the day, guys. Which missile is not a part of the IGMDP, which is the Integrated Guided Missile Development Program, conceived by Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam in 1983? Your options are Trishul, Prithvi, Agni, or all are part of the IGMDP. So you have to answer which is not a part of it. Okay, let's see. Yes, guys. So the correct answer is that all are a part of the IGMDP. It is the Integrated Guided Missile Development Program, uh, which was actually conceived by Dr. A.P. Jabdul Kalam and uh, Trishul Prithvi Agni. Okay, just keep them in mind. All right. Let's see the leaderboard, guys. Okay. So Sejal is today's winner. Congratulations, Sejal. Uh, then we have Jasmine on second position, Prashant on third. Tiger Baby, you should have changed your name uh, on fourth position. Then we have uh, Sangam on fifth position, Krishnavini sixth, Ritvik seventh, Ritik eighth, Anshika ninth, and Garima on the tenth position. All right. Congratulations to all of you guys. And uh, okay, before I lose connection once again, I will sign out very quickly. Take care of yourself, guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. And stay home, stay safe, and all the best to all of you. Bye-bye.